joining IHS. I hope you're feeling stupendous on this wonderful, chilly Friday morning. I'm Adam Andreas Danger Thompson, and here with me is Jeremy 2.0. Teddy? Yeah, that's a common mistake. How's it going, IHS? Let's get cooking. How about it, huh? Okay, let's do this. Starting next year, all male and female students at Cornell will have the option of rooming together. Although gender-neutral housing was first implemented back in 2012, it was only available for some upper-class students. The policy, which was proposed in late 2015, was a way of offering flexible housing options for all students. The policy will only apply to dorms that aren't historically uh, single gender, such as the Balch Hall. The policy has received mixed reviews from students, some saying that people could abuse the system by making the policy potentially dangerous. Hey, 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 I just, it's almost February break, and there's nothing better to do on a cold February break than curl up in some cozy blankets, get a nice mug of hot cocoa, sit by the fireplace and read a good book. And of course, by read a good book, I mean binge watch shows and movies on Netflix. <laughs> We've got a list of four new shows, a couple that aren't so good, but we're still going to give it to you. Okay? These shows will be enough to guarantee that you'll be doing nothing productive over, Febru over February break. Starting off is the show Frontier. This show follows Declan Harp, a terrorist of sorts, as he tries to break apart the Hudson Bay Company's monopoly on the fur trade in Canada. Disclaimer, this show is Game of Thrones level violence, so be careful. I'd rate it four decapitated heads out of five. Hey, HS, don't get mad about Adam's negativity. Let's just go to the next show, Bojack Horseman. Follow this lovable relic of the past, Bojack Horseman, a once famous actor who now finds himself struggling to adjust to the times. This animated show has three seasons, and every one of them is as good as the last. I'd give it a 3.7 Pop-Tarts out of five. Coming in third place is Mr. Robot. This show about Elliot, a cybersecurity worker who doubles as a hacker at night. Mr. Robot, I've personally never seen it, but I've heard it's pretty good. I would give it 4.5 hacked computers out of 5. However, it's only on Hulu, so you Netflix users, you're out of luck. Yeah, okay. Um, sorry for the more serious tone, I guess, uh, but... Breaking news, three children are now homeless and parentless after a house fire. That's right. Last but not least, we have Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Ever read those books? I have. I loved them. But if you haven't, travel back to your childhood with Netflix's new show, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. This show is about three wealthy orphans who are getting cheated out of their inheritance by Count Olaf. I'd give it 4.2 burning houses out of five. Well, at IHS, we've had a great time, but we've now got to go to our new cooking channel, so we're going to have to leave you. Absolutely. But come back in two weeks for another show. See you later, IHS. Goodbye. Isn't that funny? Oh, that's a little awkward. <laughs> if Jamie's not here, I can't do my own accent. Oh, I've got someone else to do. Hey, yeah.